Hey everyone, Dr. Melissa Longo here. I wanted to just give you a really quick stretching tip in this week's Thrive in 5, 5 minutes or less of some middle information here to increase your health. Now, one of the most common things I talk about in the practice here is stretching. And it's something that I recommend to every single person that comes in this door, whether they are looking to recover from an injury or just, you know, build better mobility and health within their body. And the thing is this, I often joke that stretching is not sexy. You can't see the effects of stretching like you can see the effects of cardiovascular training, a muscle building type of training. And so no one ever wants to stretch. However, if you're not increasing your flexibility, if you're not stretching, then you are going to be more injury prone and you're not going to feel as great as you could be feeling. So rather than focusing on how you look and why stretching is nothing that you want to really give any time and attention to, think about how much better you want to be feeling, how much more mobile you want to be feeling, whether it's just to simply do things around your day-to-day -day living, getting in and out of your car, playing with your kids, playing with your grandchildren, sitting at your desk at work driving, looking after your yard, enjoying your hobbies, whatever it is, if you increase your amount of stretching and your flexibility in your life, you are going to feel dramatically better. So my number one tip is to think about a time in your day where you are already doing something either mindlessly or mindfully. Uh, you know, if it's a task that you have to be doing and you can be concentrating on it, but can you do that task while doing some stretches? Right now, I could be talking to you while also stretching my arm across my body and effectively getting some more range of motion in my shoulder joint. I could also do my, some circles with my hands. I could also do some things with my ankles and my knees. So where are there times in your day where you can be doing something at work or around your house that you could actively be moving your body a tiny little bit? You know, the point of this really briefly here is I want you to think about where can you add movement and stretching into your day, into the things that you're already doing, rather than trying to think about when can you make time to do this in your day. Do you see the difference? Because the number one reason I know that people sort of shuffle their feet and roll their eyes when I you know, ask them to start doing some stretching at home is not because they don't want to. Um, I Very rarely I think it's because they don't want to. More often than not, I know people are thinking, oh, when am I going to fit this into my day? If they're not actively training, if they're not actively building exercise and movement into their day. So I want you to think about where can you be adding some movement. Maybe it's at night when you're watching a movie or television. You can do some stretches you know, while you're sitting on the couch or even on the floor, while you're brushing your teeth, while you're waiting for dinner to cook, while you're maybe doing some things in your office. There are always times in your day where you can add some movement and some mobility. So think of um, intermittent and often. The more you do it, the better it's going to get. And I guarantee you, you will be feeling the differences very quickly. Now, if you need some specific stretches uh, that will help you in your individual situation, be sure to ask me on your next visit, and we will go through all of this in more detail. Hope this helps you. Talk to you soon.